Ford's all-new 2010 Mustang definitely has the look, but it's a look that's been streamlined. You get the feeling that when Ford redid the Mustang a few years back, it was kind of a reset, and each update from here on out will make the Mustang more modern. Now, there are some unique styling cues, like these sequential turn signals, very 60s and very modern at the same time. But Mustangs are really about the driving experience, and that remains great. A few more horsepower, a few more miles per gallon. Ford let me try out the Mustang GT with its 315 horsepower V8. The base model has a V6 with a not too shabby 210 horsepower engine. Both the handling and the acceleration on the new Mustang are just top notch. And here's something really cool. They found a way to accentuate the Mustang sound in the cabin while de-emphasizing the road noise. The biggest changes are on the inside, greatly upgraded, less retro, more upscale, and a lot of chrome. And for the first time ever, Ford is making its Sync system available in the Mustang. Now, Sync is a product that connects your iPod and your cell phone. Seems like a natural with the younger crowd that the Mustang goes after. Unfortunately, in my particular case, I found this particular version of Sync a little less user-friendly than other Sync systems I've used in the past. But really, if that's my only complaint about the Mustang, the vehicle's doing pretty good. After spending a week in the coupe, I can't wait to check out the convertible version. Mustangs are always a lot of fun, and the 2010 version is no exception. I'm Autobeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.